What's going on? I'm JJ Watt. You're watching the JR Sports Brief. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR. You're checking out another edition of the JR Sport Brief. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you do follow me, you didn't miss my trip to Los Angeles this past weekend when I was at the NFL Studios hanging out with Michael Irvin, Marshall Falk. I had a great time out there. Keep up with me on Snapchat. But right now, it's about the NBA. I'm sick of preseason. I'm ready for real basketball games to start. And a lot of people have been asking me for different top six videos. Well, this is one that people have asked me for. It's the top six NBA rookies for the upcoming season. I'm not waiting than any time we're getting right into it we're gonna start off with buddy heel of the new orleans pelicans why is he gonna have a great season because he can score and look at the team name me three guys who actually play basketball for the new orleans pelicans i'll wait i think i may have to wait a while but at the end of the day you have anthony davis always hurt Tyreek Evans perennially hurt. He always has a busted knee. And Buddy Hield is going to go out there and he's going to have to be relied upon to help carry and shoulder the scoring load if Anthony Davis is out there. And oh yeah, guess what? Anthony Davis went to China and he got hurt. Buddy Hield is going to have a lot of time to go out there and put up points for the New Orleans Pelicans. Moving on down the list, Chris Dunn of the Minnesota Timberwolves. He was taken number five this year. And you know what? He's on an up and coming team. Zach Levine, Carl Anthony Towns is probably going to win an MVP award at some point in his career if he stays healthy. But you know what? Chris Dunn has Ricky Rubio in front of him. Yeah, Ricky, I cannot shoot a basketball Rubio. And although he is a veteran presence there, a young veteran presence for the Minnesota Timberwolves, you can bet your ass that one day Chris Dunn is going to be moving Ricky Rubio right out of the damn way. Four years out of Providence, my man got his degree. He is not a joke. He's ready to play basketball. You got to rock with your main man, Chris Dunn. Done, Minnesota Timberwolves. They're an up-and-coming team. I wouldn't be surprised if they made the playoffs. We're going to go straight to Philly. This guy got drafted two years ago, and he's finally making an appearance. His name is Joel Embiid. We don't have to see any more tweets about him trying to holler at Rihanna. We can now watch him on a basketball floor go inside, outside, play defense, block shots, dunk the ball. He's all over the place. Jaleel Okafor? He may be gone. Moving on down the list. Jalen Brown. He was taken number three by the Boston Celtics this year, and everybody up in Boston is basically calling him a freak of nature. Even Avery Bradley is surprised at the athleticism that this man possesses. He doesn't have to, to go out there and have a lot of pressure on him. He's on a veteran team. Isaiah Thomas is out there. They picked up Al Horford. They're expected to compete in the Eastern Conference. He's not expected to go out there and be a savior, although he will go out there and contribute. Jalen Brown you're going to hear his name, and he may be one of the only rookies that you hear about in the NBA playoffs. This team has nothing to do with the NBA playoffs. And we're talking about my main man, Brandon Ingram. I actually interviewed him a few months ago. Six foot nine, barely 190 pounds. He's initially going to come off the bench and score for the Los Angeles Lakers. And when you're the Lakers, you're going to be behind. You're going to get blown out, and there are going to be plenty of opportunities for Brandon Ingram to go out there and show that he can put the ball in the hole. Uh, I don't think he's going to help anything defensively. Uh, besides his length, what can he offer up? He doesn't have any weight, but he will score, and he's going to have a lot of losing opportunities to do so. And last but not least, I don't know when the hell he's playing because he has a broken foot. He may not even play this year, but you got to rock with Ben Simmons. Maybe he makes a cameo. Midway through the season, maybe he makes a cameo at the end of the season just to get his feet wet about what NBA basketball is all about, or maybe we don't see him at all, but I think I'd be remiss not to put him on this list. Who are your top six NBA rookies for the upcoming season? And by the way, if I got to go with a rookie of the year, I'm going with Buddy Hill. That guy basically has a team to himself. Unless Anthony Davis comes back, but then Anthony Davis doesn't have any other teammates. This is JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. Who are the top six rookies? Holla at me on Snapchat.